Calendars can display all events in your nation, events with a specific tag, or only events created within the calendar. In this video, we'll cover how to create a calendar page and how to set up global settings for events on it. Create a calendar page. To start a new calendar, go to Website, select your site, and click Add New Page. Name your calendar, select Calendar as the page type, and decide whether to include the calendar in Top Nav or Supporter Nav. Click Create Page. We recommend leaving the calendar in draft mode until you've completed the setup process. Choose which events to display and what to call them. Under Calendar Settings, Basics, decide what an event in your calendar should be called. If all events will be a specific type, for example, a party, rally, etc., you can choose to call an event one of those names. Be sure to type in the name for a single event. Click the checkbox if you want to include all events on your website, not just ones created within this calendar. You can limit events shown to only include events with specified tags. This could allow you to include all events on your website that are phone banks in one calendar, while showing all fundraising events in another. By default, events are sorted by date. You can click the checkbox to change this to sort by distance from the site visitor, if you like. You can also choose to show a map of all events on your calendar. If both of these options are checked, a visitor will see a map of events nearest to them. Click the Save Settings button when you're done making your selections. You can provide an introduction to the calendar under Calendar, Intro. The content editor here is the same as on other pages. If you want to include an image in the introduction, you can insert it with the Insert Edit Image button. You can also embed videos and other content by typing the URL on its own line within the content editor. Accept User Submitted Events. You can choose whether or not to allow people to add their own events to the calendar under Calendar Settings, User Submitted Events. Note, User Submitted Events are only available to customers on the team, organization, or network plan. User Submitted Events have the following parameters. An event creator will have to include their email address to submit the event. Page tags can be added to all User Submitted Events within the calendar. You can also specify the default date, time, and time zone for new events. You can restrict user submitted events to be added after a particular date and or before a particular date. Choose whether to require a phone number. People tags can be added to all event creators. You can assign event creators to a point person. If an event creator already has a point person, that assignment will not be changed. You can add event creators to a path. Auto responses for user submitted events are formatted using Liquid Code to provide details to attendees and event owners about the event. These settings are under Calendar Settings, Auto Responses. You probably don't want to change the content of these auto responses, though you may want to change the broadcaster they are sent from. You can also consider whether you want to send event owners an email every time someone RSVPs to an event and or cancels their RSVP to an event. Create event settings at the calendar level. Under Calendar Settings, Event Settings, you're able to check the box to enable event settings for this calendar page overall. You can add a person to a path, assign membership, and add tags to any person who has either RSVP'd or attended. Enter your settings and press Save Settings. This will immediately apply to all events listed as subpages under the calendar and to any events created or moved under this calendar page going forward. Event settings at the page level will no longer be editable if the event page is under this calendar page. Preview. Once you've completed setting up your calendar, go to Preview to see what your calendar will look like on your live site. If you're satisfied with how it looks, click the Publish button. You can also edit your settings and return to the Preview screen to see revisions before clicking Publish. Next steps. You may want to review how to set up an individual event. 